Good morning. Well, it's been a while. I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything, but things are just so beautiful, I can't not show you. So, here we go. So much has been happening, and I want to show it to you all. I thought for sure my ferns were dead. They're not. Look at this guy. So cute. Look at these little wildflowers. And then in the perennial garden that we planted last year, it's starting to have little blooms. The yarrow looks like it's doing well. The false indigo over there looks like it's doing well. Everything actually looks pretty good. I gotta, I have to weed this area, obviously. And we have our hydrangea over on this side. And our hazelnut bush, which is doing well. And then you take this corner, you Whoa, <laughs> this tree is magnificent. It is so big and in full bloom, so amazingly beautiful. It's hard to even capture it. How magical as a child would it be to have little picnics and adventures under here? So that is one of the most beautiful things happening in the garden. I think actually the most beautiful. Onward. Got my son a little wheelbarrow. Loves it. Let's see, what's in his wheelbarrow today? Some sticks. Some green needles. So cute. This is one of our apple trees. This one isn't doing as many blooms, but this one, look how beautiful that is. Apple blossoms. So pretty. Our raspberries are coming up. We planted 60 of them. Not all of them are looking the greatest. I will show you some that are doing quite well. Yeah, we may or may not get raspberries this year. We have a couple. This line does, is doing pretty well. The others, not as much. Which is really good to know because I planted them three different ways. So I planted them this way. I put compost down. I put cardboard on top and I planted them in the cardboard. This way I planted them uh, and 
I think I used something here. Um, so I did it three different ways. The back way is just in the dirt. The middle way is something else. And then this was the third way. So I think um, this way worked. It was the most work, but it was successful. All right, next I am going to show you, so I have successes, right? I've showed you the successes. Um, I mean, my goodness, I mean, I have no hand in that, but um, there's successes and then there's failures, and I will show you the failure. Oh, dear. If I've said it before, I'll say it again. The weather here has been very hard to predict. And I was putting things out and then bringing them back in and it was getting quite warm overnight and I thought we were safe. Clearly, we're not. All of my nasturtium and all of my zinnias, except for a handful of zinnias, are dead because of the frost. And it didn't help that they were in the hoop house. So, it did not protect them, um, because it is not, um, what is it, it's, it's not tight, it's not airtight. So, that was a bummer. Here are plum trees. The plum trees are just about done blooming, as you can see. This little sad little plum tree. I think it's got some buds. And then the cherry tree is just starting to flower. So I'm hoping that we can get little bits of fruit. I'm just not sure how old these are. So. And on to the peonies. Peonies have done well. I can't really see them in the color video. They've done well. I'm excited for them. They won't do anything really this year. Um, they're an investment into the future, which is so hard for me because I want things to happen. <laughs> Here are tulips. Oh, they look like they have a little frost on them. Little frosty tulip. Oh, these like glitter. So I've kind of had tulips in three groupings. This one back here is first. And they're almost done. I've been pulling them up. These aren't really the variety that I want in the future. So that was the first group. Lots of different kinds in there. Must have gotten a mix. And then mixed the mixes together. <laughs> this is group two. Hasn't quite bloomed yet. I think I'm just going to pull them up and uh, have them inside. Perhaps, I'm not sure. And then the third grouping is back there. Um, I will show you over there. So in this bed, I've planted sweet peas. As you can see, they're coming up. Just so sweet. And then my ranunculus, they're green in an enemy. They're green. They're not really getting much bigger. So, I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, I have some ideas. If y'all have any thoughts on that, let me know in the comments because that's such a bummer. So I think what happened is I started too late even though we weren't really warm enough because they need shorter daylight. So it's a combination of cool weather and short daylight which we don't have that combination. We have long days. I mean, we do, but I mean, super cold, so we'll see. I don't know if any of you have seen this in all of its glory, so I will show it once again because I'm very, very proud of it. This is our door that we made. Oh my goodness. I'm so proud of it. Let's see if I'm... Hey, what's going on in here? Lots, but soon to be much, much more. So I recently planted some, some herbs. 
and uh, some lettuce, which is very, very, very late on. But I was in a, a room uh, in Clubhouse saying that they, people in 6B were serving their lettuce, and I thought, well, they're very, very late in 6B, so if they can do it, me and Zone 4 can do it. I have some parsley, different kinds of parsley, some rosemary, I just did these yesterday, and then some oregano, oregano. My husband has built these, I absolutely love them. They are for our squash. So I have butternut, acorn, I think butternut and acorn. I have spaghetti squash, but I'm not a huge fan, so I may or may not plant the spaghetti squash. I think I'm just gonna give away. And then there's a peas down there where that thing is, but all over here we still have to plant. And then in here we've made, started to make our supports for our tomatoes. So we'll plant a tomato uh, each by one of those. They're indeterminate tomatoes, each by one of those sticks. And then there will be a string going up and connecting with what's supposed to be support bar over the, across the top of that. Um, obviously we have a little ways to go. Those, those tomato plants should be planted out soon. Um, it's getting warm enough. And then here, oh, you can't really see it from here. Let me go across. There's nothing in these beds. Here. This is an arch for cucumbers and maybe beans. So I'll definitely cucumbers on one of these sides and then possibly beans. I was, I was going to do beans and then I wasn't going to do beans. And then I started beans and then I decided not to do beans. <laughs> then I saw the starts and I had 24 bean plants and some of them I'm going to give away. But I planted lima beans, which are one of my favorites. And they came up and I thought, well, maybe I should plant some lima beans. So we'll see if the lima beans go on that side. All right, that's that. And it'll cover and it will be so fun. It'll be a fun little thing. Here's some different kinds of raspberries, bush raspberries. They're doing well, and I think they should produce some this year. They're quite big, and they came in really big pots, so I think they're several years old. Um, so they should produce. And then these ones are doing okay. They're, they're starting more at the bottom than actually flowering at the top, which is fine because that's the new growth. That's along here. That's done pretty well. On to another failure. Well, sort of. That's our blueberry plant. So this blueberry plant actually had been planted in our old place and for several years. And this is as big as it got. We all know blueberries are very temperamental. And I think that I have the correct soil for them here, but he's been through a lot. But then I planted these new, and I got one little leaf. These ones, a few more leaves. I was tempted to get more blueberry plants um, that were much bigger. And I decided against it. You know, you just have to understand that some things you can grow and some things you can't. Here I have onions right here and then long, uh, green onions in the middle. And I just planted those. So we'll see how that goes. We've had very little rain, actually no rain for a long time. So, which is quite strange for us. And then these are, sorry, I'm showing you dirt, sorry. These are potatoes. I planted potatoes down there. And these are strawberries. Strawberries are actually looking great. They're not really doing anything, if I'm honest. 
Um, one came with, when I got them, one came with a little strawberry started, but he hasn't done much. So they've kept being green. They've been in here about a week or two. And they might be um, everbearing instead of, or not everbearing, they might be the late bearing ones. I'll have to check. I'll have to check. But we put them in a gutter system. This is new for us. Gutter system. Um, it's a bit shallow. Not sure if this is what we're going to do next year or not. But trying all sorts of funky things. Right here, I planted kale and carrots. Just planted it, so uh, nothing's coming up yet. But you shall see. So that's here in the garden. Right here I planted more basil. Wanted a lot of basil, hoping to make pestos and things. And this is a whole thing of arugula, which might take which might take a little while, because uh, it's chilly and baby do well in like 70s.